Today, we wanted to discuss how I made my brochure. Now, this is not going to be an overall lesson of pages. The idea here is to show you something I've already created and just, you know, how I did that and just some things here to learn about pages making a brochure. They actually, I did steal this from a template that's built directly into pages. I just took away a lot of things and added my own style to it. But the concept of, you'll see in the next page, is pretty much set up how that looked. So we're looking at the very top of the page where I have my logo here, which is, by the way, WV Productions, WF Fetus Productions. If you are interested in wedding videography in the local New Jersey area, that's where I film. And this is the brochure I made for it. So I wanted to show you a couple things I did here uh, so you get an idea of how to do it. Right here, this is a perfect example of something where these are actually four individual items. If I double click, you will see they have a highlight around them and they're, they're individual squares. However, if I click on it once, you'll see there's a whole thing around it. That means I put them together as a group. If I right click, there is an option here to ungroup them, which would then make them four individual items. But because I want to make them bigger at the same time, I'm going to undo that. And now I'm just going to take the edge. I'm just going to drag it up. And that makes it a lot bigger. It makes it stand out a little more. And I just want to show you that you can group things together. These are the same deal. So if these are individual items. I can group them together by just clicking Command. And now I have them both highlighted. And then I just go to Group. And now they're one group. And I can do that to the other side as well. Also, I added these lines here. That way in the future, if I decide to print or I don't want to go too close to the edge, this is kind of like a safety net. And how I did that is on the rulers here on the side. You just drag them where you want them to go. So if I go right here, I could just drag and you see it creates this yellow line, which is a way to organize your stuff. So if you want things to be a certain way, these yellow lines do not print on the print job, but what they do is they help you organize your stuff around the edges, and you'll see that in a second. So if I drag this item to the edge, you see how it snaps like that? And that's because it is snapping directly to this line that I have created. I've also created a line right here as well, and that's why grouping these was a good idea, because now I can snap it right to a specific part that I want in the brochure. This would be the same deal. I could just drag it to the right part, and as you can see, these lines appear that try to even out everything so that way everything looks the same same thing here with my logo it's not exactly centered so i'm going to i'm going to center it a little bit here just by dragging it these are transparent uh, so there is nothing in this white space here uh, and then i'll also go to this i'll just drag this over as you can see it snaps and same deal it snaps so it's great to have that built in here so behind this as you can see is a shape i actually decided to put a photo above a shape so if I move these apart, they're actually two different things. So that's something I did. The reason why I wanted to do that was because the styles that I was looking at didn't really work. So I, I kind of just made my own by just adding a shape here and then putting the image on top of it. And I kind of evened it out. Same thing for this side as well. These are technically, I believe, grouped together. Uh, if I ungroup them... Now they're actually two different items. So that again, groups are very valuable in something like this. I have my websites here. If I double click on it, uh, you can edit the website. So if you wanted to put a web page, it tells you it's going to link directly to a web page and where it's going. So it's great. You could add web pages in here. You could take any text pretty much and make a web page out of it. All you got to do is just right click, add a link, and you could decide what you want to do. So if you wanted to go to a website, if you like it to email, you could add the link directly from our right click, and it's right here. Very easy. Let's go down to this bottom part. This has a lot more stuff, uh, skill, I would say, added to it. Same deal with the event packages. Now, if you notice, if I'm, I'm trying to click and it's not working because there are these little X's around it, that is called locking. I am locking that down so it doesn't move. I don't want to accidentally move it. So if I right click on it and I do unlock, now these white squares have shown up just like before, and now I can move it any way I want. Locking is a great way. That way you, you don't accidentally grab something if you don't want it to be moved around. You can make your decision on when you want to lock stuff, but if you don't think it's going to move at all, it's a great way just to keep things intact. These are all just shapes, and then I wrote text in them. Pretty much it. I didn't really mess much with the styles in this because I didn't really need to. I kind of did my own. So these are all just different text size, different uh, shapes. I did make everything pretty close to the same font because I want everything obviously to look 
pretty close correctly. That is important with your brochure. Make sure your fonts are very identical. All of them should be close to being the same in here. I have about maybe like three different fonts. Now, the other thing that you notice right here is this is where all my main packages are, and you will see these lines appearing. These actually aren't lines. If I click on them, as you can see, they're not clickable, and that is because I have did a special thing for this. Under layout, there are something called borders and rules. What this does, it positions borders based on the text. So in this case, I told it to go underneath it, but you can go on both sides. You can go on the top only. You can go on the bottom. In this case, I did the bottom, and you can see as I click down here, I added it for each one. This is something good for copying and pasting. This has been really good for something like that because you could just copy the whole thing, paste it to another level, and just change the text, and then everything would look identical. That way, I had a good way of separating the borders here. I thought that was a good way to kind of separate everything. I do have a link here as well to a video on my YouTube channel uh, for my WV Productions. So this one's not locked down, so I'm going to lock this down. You notice that the item might be underneath. And also, it's really hard to click sometimes. See, it, sometimes you can click more than one item. If you go and you click here, and then option click and click here, you can move these at the same time. You can also just go to the edge and just drag across. Another thing you'll notice, too, is I have the locking mechanism down here. That's actually quite smart to do. You don't want this background to move at all. You can also click on things, and you can also change the arrangement if you wanted to go front and back. So you can see it kind of faded there a little bit. So that's just a little bit about the brochure. I did use all these boxes here. So this is just a little bit of an example of what I've done already. I thought it was just a quick way for you to look at one of my brochures that I created directly in Pages. You can make this in Pages very easily. Just take some of the skills I showed you. Uh, more importantly, I would think the yellow lines are the important thing. Knowing how to do links, knowing how to group items together, know how to lock things down in here. That way you know what those items do. And also, actually, I'll give you one more little added bonus here. So over here on the 150, everything's all lined up correctly, no matter where it is in here. And that is because I have these little tab stops up here. You can add a tab just by double clicking. And if you keep clicking, it's changing its position based on a center tab, a left tab, a right tab, a decimal tab. So you could do different tabs. So that's another thing you could do. And that's why these are all evened up correctly. So just go through this. I thought this would be a little fun preview just to look at how I made my brochure using pages. And I hope you guys got some lessons out of it, very quick lessons. But I want to thank you guys very much for all the feedback, all the questions that you guys provide us. And I love every single one of you. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for viewing our content. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you can see all our training videos as well as links to download our podcast.